we're taking a look at this Cougar 30 RKD. I'll put all the details right here and we'll check everything out. So this is a rear kitchen setup. You're going to have a ton of open space in here. Your fridge is located right here next to your entertainment section, right next to your cooking area, which is really convenient. You're going to have a stainless steel fridge that's going to run on 12 volts. Pantry storage here, you have really deep shelf space. You also have this little extra spot right down here. Then you have a three burner cooktop and oven. You can see you have that glass cover on there. So you can kind of use that to prevent any splash or anything like that behind there when you are cooking. And then you have a drawer down below for your pots and pans, a microwave up top. You're gonna have a bit of overhead cabinet space here, which we can take a look in there real quick. You can see it extends all the way back so you can access that from either side. And then I'm gonna take a step back so you can see how your counter is set up. You have your sink right here in the middle. So a stainless steel sink, you've got the covers on there. I like how we have this window right here in the middle, helps bring in more lighting, gives you a nice view if you're just doing the dishes. You can see out the back here. And then you have a ton of counter space. So you have this side here with a couple of outlets. And then you have this huge like L-shaped design right over here. You have an open spice rack area there. Nice little geometric backsplash outlets and USB ports on both sides there. And then you also have overhead cabinet space here and a ton of storage down below. So right over here, we have your booth dinette. So you can see you have a floating table. So you have extra leg room under there. That'll fold down to another bed for you. No carpet slides in here as well. Huge windows here. You have a couple of theater reclining seats here. You're gonna have a couple of cup holders, center console there. And then you can see you have your controls right here. So heating and massage, LED accent lighting, USB ports built right into there. You also have this little mirror right over here, which is really nice if you need an extra spot it's right outside of your bathroom. Entertainment section here. So you have overhead cabinet space. TV is mounted right into here and you also have a bit of hidden storage right behind there. There's a shelf built into there. And then you have your radio and DVD control built in. And then a little bit of extra storage on both sides. Fireplace down below with that little mantle shelf there. Extra storage right here by your entryway. Outlets and USB ports there. So you can access your bathroom and walk right through to your bedroom from right here or we can access it from this door over here. So you have your medicine cabinet up top undermounted sink down below so you get a little bit of extra counter space there gives it a nice flush look tons of storage underneath there for all of your linens and then you have this nice big radius shower here with the clear doors huge skylight overhead stainless steel um, shower head there which is really nice corner shelves built in and then you have your porcelain foot flush toilet down below so then if we step through into here i'll take a step back so you can get a good look at your bedroom here you have a ton of space here between your bed in your dresser. You're gonna have a lot of storage underneath your bed as well, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then you have a bit of overhead cabinet space. Closet space here, you're going to have sliding mirror doors on there. And then you can see you have outlets and USB ports built into here. Shelf overhead, hanging closet storage, lots of extra room in here. Extra overhead cabinet space here, you're gonna have that exit window right there. Your TV hookups are over here if you wanted to add a TV here into your bedroom. You have outlets and USB ports on that side as well. And then down below you have this extra dresser space so you have nice big deep drawers there as well as a little bit of extra storage right here if you wanted to you could always add in some extra storage bins and stuff like that into your closet because of how much extra space you have in there but there is plenty of storage already here so let's take another look at everything and step outside mm -hmm. 